he sees this as a brute force problem. More compute, more hardware, the better it's going to get. <laughs> Did you see also the other news of Sam Altman asking for this seven trillion dollars for chips in the U.S.? Trillion? No, trillion. No, really. He's wow. asking trillion. Um, yeah, he's saying we need this for the future, uh, and he's being very vague. But I think we can see kind of what's coming out of this is that uh, he wants to be the leader in the whole world and use it kind of defensively, and so he's asking for seven trillion dollars to kind of um, get to get to it i guess probably first and faster knowing that the only limitation is just compute hardware yeah i, I think that um that's what for the audience um they realize that uh with a lot of compute it can it can because they and originally when they were building these uh, algorithms for ai they were trying to make um the algorithm the program to be like super efficient and all of that to be able to come up with the with the general AI, one of the things that they stumble upon is almost like brute force, like just trying many, 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 because computers are pretty good, like uh, compared to our own compute power on our brains, we cannot sometimes even calculate like big math, right? So all of that processing computers are way, way, way better. So what they notice with the AI is that literally with a lot of compute, even on brute force, they get to the solution. And that's the reason why it's literally doing trial and error, trial and error many, many, many times. And they're getting to the solution that that's the reason why with a lot of compute, a lot of computers, they're able to uh, to get into a, a proper solution for these problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting. So, yeah, I think that he's he sees this as a brute force problem. More compute, more hardware, the better it's going to get. Do you remember this other side project? We only maybe mentioned it here once. Uh, I think it was called World Coin that saw, yes. Sam Altman was bringing, and Sam he was Altman trying to mm -hmm. scan people's eyes. I don't know. There's some weirdness around that. Where, whatever happened with that? Do you know? I, actually, I'm not too sure. Um, I think that you still can register and I still can get your uh, uh, your ID. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that he wanted to to literally identify everyone and that you are you who you who you say that you are. Which I think that um, with this AI world. I think that will be a nice thing, you know, to say, hey, this is the fake. Maybe you never want to be able to tell that is me, right? Um, but maybe when when you have the credits, hey, you use something that I didn't give you my right, which is my ID. And only mm -hmm. with my key that I'm giving you a right, then you can use it or not. So I think that maybe that will be the only way that you can kind of... Uh, um, do this type of things, right? Where you are giving permissions or rights for to be able to use your face. Yeah. Well, either way, I think we're seeing um, some of the vision that Sam Altman has. I think we haven't really quite stitched everything together. And maybe that's why some of these people were freaking out a little bit with him because yeah. they maybe he shared with them like what he thought we could do and they didn't like it. Um, so <clears throat> anyways, lots of interesting stuff coming around with, with this AI and this Sora. I tried to see if there was a, something out there already in GitHub that it kind of does something close, but I don't think anything is near, near close to this. And plus I think you need like some, uh, an obscene amount of, um, GPUs. So I don't have that kind of system to run it. I'm still running my own, uh, you know, I don't know if y'all have noticed some of our thumbnails have like AI versions of us. They're not all us. Right. <laughs> so I've been running some models on, uh, locally, um, to do that. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can really get into the next, next generation stuff without a new system. Yeah. You're going to have to get into a supercomputer there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to rent some some time on on uh, on some other uh, cluster. Yep, for sure. You know, that's all actually what we have for uh, our, our podcast today. Hopefully you like what we, what we talked about. Just remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We'd love to hear y'all's comments. And please, if you want to see us grow, please like and share with your friends. It makes all the difference. We'll see you next time, all right? Dale. Dale.